I think there's going to be a lot of disruption, a lot of revolution with respect to blockchain-based technologies. And um, what, what that's going to drive is, is not necessarily uh, uh, banks uh, worrying about other banks being competitors. Uh, what, what banks worry about is the, uh, is the bank of one, you know, the, the next generation of, of, of a banking network that's uh, resident on, on a phone that's decentralized, that's distributed, and uh, is, is based on a, on a digital token, a digital asset that's not actually issued by a bank or a government or, or anybody else. So it creates all these different uh, permutations and opportunities, uh, not only for enterprises and governments, but also for, uh, for society. And uh, right now, you know, it, it's, it's not that difficult to, to, to go into a coffee shop or buy a pair of jeans with, with uh, the credit cards and all the kind of banking infrastructure that I have. But if you're a goat herder in Ghana, if you're a, a taxi driver in Indonesia, um, you have uh, uh, no access to the, the global financial system. And so having, uh, you know, what, what you do have is you have a, a supercomputer in your pocket. And so with that, it opens up um, a, a incredible financial sovereignty where you can connect to the global financial network by having some digital currency in your pocket.